I am Brother Stephen Elabo, welcoming you to the Life Bible Church, Charlottesville, United States, a place where the undiluted Word of God is being preached. You are about to listen to our general superintendent, Pastor W.F. Kumoye, as a comfort to share the mind of God with you and your family. I want you to be ready to pick up your pen and your paper and jot down important messages as they will do you good. God bless you and remain blessed. Nothing will hinder you. If it happens to rain, no problem. If there's no rain, no problem. If you're sitting down, no problem. If you're standing up, no problem. Something great is coming your way. I said something great is coming your way. Matthew chapter 28. Matthew chapter 28. You have your Bible there. I'm looking at verse 18. And Jesus came unto them. And Jesus came unto them. And he said, he's speaking to you tonight. And that word will reach your heart. That word will come in your soul. And Jesus came unto them. And he said, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Jesus came. And now he comes to you tonight. He came to them. But now he's coming to you. I said he's coming to you. Anytime Jesus comes. Anywhere Jesus comes. There's always power. There's always authority. There's always a manifestation. And tonight he's coming to you right there. What did he come to them? If you look at that chapter. Matthew chapter 28 in the previous chapter he was crucified he was killed he died for you look at him on the cross and look at what he said on the cross my God, my God why have you forsaken me because the Lord made him to replace you he was your substitute he came on your behalf and because of your sin, that's why they nailed him to the cross. And then they brought him down from the cross. He was buried on the Sunday in Matthew chapter 28, from verse 1. As it came on that first day, power came from heaven, rolled away the stone. It's the stone of the authority of the Roman government. Because as I was killed, and then he was buried, and then that stone was placed upon the tomb. The Roman authority, authority of the Roman power, put that stone there, that it will not come out, but that stone was rolled away. There's a power here tonight. Every stone, the authorities of this world are placed upon your life. And they said, you are finished. And they said, your family is finished. And they said, your life is finished. That, ro that stone will roll away tonight. There's a power coming from heaven. And it's coming upon your soul. And that stone of authority, the authority of satanic power, the authority of the powers of darkness, the authority of evil people, they put that stone upon your life. Every stone is rolled away tonight. Congratulations, you are here. Power is coming. That stone will get out of that place. There are guards around the tomb. They were watching that nobody will come and take the body of Jesus out of that grave. 
Maybe there are guards of evil power. Maybe there are guards of evil spirits. And they're watching you there. They said, you are down, you will not get up. Tonight, their power is cancelled. All those guards of the enemy, they will fall to the ground today. All the oppressions of your life, all the evil that came upon your life, tonight is that night the Lord will set you free. And then, as Jesus rose again, the disciples were hiding somewhere. The disciples were afraid. The disciples said, our master is gone. Our Lord is gone. All of a sudden, while the door was closed, the Lord Jesus entered. He's going to enter your house today. He will enter your family today. He will enter that business today. Power will enter. Heaven will enter. And then he announced unto them. First of all, he rebuked their unbelief. Because others who have seen Jesus Christ, that he rose from the dead, they told those disciples, they didn't believe. Maybe you didn't believe in the past. That Jesus, the miracle worker, is coming to you. That he has arrived. I said he has arrived. That unbelief is taken away now. It's coming to you today. It's coming to you today. Tonight, something will happen tonight that never happened in your life. It was when he came to them. He now said unto them, and Jesus came. He came unto them, and he said, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. In heaven, all the power there. Give it to Jesus on earth. All the power here. Give it to Jesus. It's the power of God. The power of God in heaven. Give it to the Lord Jesus Christ. And the power of God here on earth. Power and authority. Divine ability is given unto Jesus Christ. Infinite power power, unlimited power, unstoppable power, giving unto Christ. And Jesus said, it's a power from all eternity. It's a power here on earth. And it's a power that's able to do anything, everything in your life. Almighty power to do all things. Almighty power to save your soul. Almighty power to heal your body. Almighty power to crush all the parts of the enemy. They said all the power has been given to him. Power in heaven. Power on earth. Power over the angels. Power over the evil spirits. Power over all your enemies. Power over Satan. Power over demons. Power to restrain evil. Any evil come in your direction. Christ commands tonight. And Christ announces to you tonight. He has the power to restrain all evil. And he has the power to release every blessing to your life. Congratulations, you are here tonight. Because this power that Christ has, all power is for you tonight. I said it's for you tonight. It's for your benefit. It's for your profit. That this power had been given unto Christ. And it comes to you tonight. And it says, if you you will come to him. There's no other power that can resist the 
empower your life. I'm talking to you tonight on the conquering power of the risen Christ. The conquering power of the risen Christ. He has risen from the dead. And then he's still alive. And Jesus Christ, Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. What he said at that time, he's still saying today. What he declared unto them, is declaring unto you. And he says, all power. Are you sorrowful? He says, look up, all power. Are you depressed? He says, look up, all power. Are you thinking you have a problem? He says, look at me, all power. All power is given unto him. Here on earth, there in heaven, and it is for your sake. I said it is for your sake. The conquering power of the risen Christ. Tonight, we're going to pray. We're going to pray for you. Am I talking to somebody there? And that power will be manifested in your life. Whatever that sin may be, they will forgive you tonight. They will break the power of cancel sin. Whatever that sickness may be tonight, there is power here tonight to roll all those sicknesses away. Whatever the attack of the enemy or the affliction of the enemy, all power is here tonight. The conquering power of the receiver Christ. He will set you free. Praise the Lord, you are free. I said, praise the Lord, you are free. Three things we are talking about. Number one, the majestic power of the risen Christ. The majestic power of the risen Christ. Number two, the mighty power of our reigning conqueror. He reigns. He reigns. And he reigns as a conqueror. He rose so that he can reign. He was the risen Christ. Now he has become the reigning conqueror. As the risen Christ. He is the king of kings. And the lord of lords. And he has the power of majesty. Majestic power. Now as the ready conqueror. He has a mighty power. And there's no power, there's no other power that can confront the power of Jesus Christ. Tonight, he will manifest that power in your life. I want to show you, Amen. Number three now is the manifold power of our redeeming captain. The manifold power of our redeeming captain is the captain of our salvation. He comes to redeem us. He comes to restore us. He comes to release us. He comes to break every yoke. He comes to heal every sickness. He comes to set you free. And then he has this manifold power. This manifold power comes from many angles. Comes to take away your sin. Comes to take away your sickness. Comes to take away your affliction. Comes to take away the evil. Manifold, coming from many sides. And he redeems you. Every curse will be broken. Every yoke will be taken away. Tonight, if you come to know Christ, tonight, if you come to connect with Christ, the risen Christ, and the reigning conqueror, and the redeeming captain, 
power will be manifested in your life. Number one, the majestic power of the risen Christ. The majestic power of the risen Christ. Let me remind you again. And Jesus came unto them and said unto them, All power is given unto me. The Heavenly Father has invested all power in Christ, has bestowed all power in Christ, has granted all power to Christ. Why? If you look at some two, read it there from verse 6. He said, yet I have set my king upon my holy hill Zion. And then he, he said, this day have I begotten you? He rose from the dead. And he rose in power. And he rose as if it was into new life. And then in verse 8 of Psalm 2, he said, Ask of me, and I will give you all the heathen. I will give you for a possession. And then he said, Remember what I, what I read to you. In that verse 6, I have said, My king. It's my king. The almighty God said, that's the appointed king. The almighty God said, that's the approved king. The almighty God said, that's the anointed king. I have set that king upon my holy hill of Zion. Jesus is king. He rose again. He rose in power. He rose in authority. And now he is king. And then the king has power. The king has power. Because we're told in Ecclesiastes chapter 8. Ecclesiastes chapter 8. I'm reading there from verse 4. It says in verse 4, where the watch of the king is, there is power. See Christ coming. And he came, it's not like uh, somebody they were crucifying now. It's not like a helpless person. It comes with all power and announces to heaven and to earth, announces to angels and men, he announces to you and to me. He tells the sick and he tells the sinner, he says, All power is the king of the universe, is the king of heaven and earth, is the king with all power. And where the watch of that king is, there is power. And tonight, the word of the king, the declaration of Jesus, there is power in Christ tonight. I said there is power in Christ tonight. And that power will take away your problem. That power will solve your problem. He rose in power. And the stone had been rolled away. And the guards already falling down. And now he tells us that he now comes comes with permanent victory. Permanent victory. There's victory coming to your life tonight. Somebody there, where are you? I said there's victory coming to your life tonight. Because Christ comes to the helpless. And he says, the power you don't have, I have. It comes to the impotent. It comes to the invalid. It comes to the sick. It comes to the oppressed. It comes to the depressed. It comes to those who are fed up. The people that say, I don't know what I'm going to do again. The people that say, what am I going to do now? He says, what you don't have, I have. You don't have strength, he has strength. Don't have power, he has power. Don't have authority, he has authority. And he says, for your sake, for your benefit, for your salvation, for your healing, for your deliverance, all power is given unto me. It's power over sin. 
Maybe you've been battling with that sin. You don't want to do it, but you do it. You know what is right. You know what is wrong. And the bad thing you don't want to do, that's what you do. You say, if I do that which I don't want to do, it is no more either do it, but sin that dwells in me. He says you cannot overcome by yourself. He says I overcame on your behalf. And now all power for you is given unto me. Power over sin. He will forgive your sin tonight. There's a king that has the authority. The president could call anybody. And it's okay. I review your case. You have been sent into prison. Lifetime imprisonment is the final authority in the nation. Is a king in the nation. He can say, I pardon you. Here comes the king of kings. Here comes the lord of lords. Whatever the accusation of Satan against your life. Whatever sin made you to be in captivity. The word of the king comes to you. Your sins that are many are all forgiven. He has the right to do that as a king. He has the authority to do that as a king. The heavenly Father has invested that authority and final word in Jesus. That's why he says that all your sins are forgiven. And tonight, as he comes to you, tonight, as he announces to you, for the word of the king, your sins are forgiven. Somebody there said your sins are forgiven. And tonight, is that night. Power over sin. Number two, power over darkness. All the powers of darkness in your life. Everything tonight, Christ has power. And it comes to you. And when those evil spirits, when they seem come into your life, come into your room, come into your house, before you open the door, you get in. The king is coming. The king of light. The king of power. The king of all authority. And he enters with you. They all flee away. I said they all flee away. He has power over sin. He has power over darkness. He has power over the curse. Every curse in your life. Did you hear what Jesus said? All power power is given unto me in heaven and on earth. Wherever that curse came from, if it came from the sky, Christ has power. If it came from the sea, Christ has power. If it came from the land, Christ has power. I rejoice with you tonight. The curse in your life is taken away in Jesus' name. Power over the demons. You know evil spirits? You know familiar spirits? You know mommy water spirits? You know bush spirits? You know ancestral spirits? You know all those evil spirits that do evil and havoc? And they have some power. Power to torment. Power to confuse your life. Power to disorganize your life. Here comes Christ tonight. I said, here comes Christ tonight. And he announces to you. He said, all those demons will pack their clothes, they will go. Because all power is given unto him. He has power over the enemy. Enemies that operate in the dark. Enemies that operate in secret. Enemies that operate their evil, what 